What's going on everyone? It's Brain with Jacoji Fine Jewelry, your personal jeweler. Rhonda Barr wants to know when she sells large gold jewelry lots on eBay, why does she get more than when she sells to a pawn shop? Is it because the rent, employees, all those other factors that factor into when you go to sell your gold jewelry? Speaking of selling gold jewelry, I'm going to answer that question, but I'm going to show you guys the chain that I'm shipping out right now. So let's get started. So this week definitely belonged to the Franco chain. There's a lot of Francos. Here we have a three millimeter yellow gold, three millimeter white gold, three millimeter yellow gold, three millimeter yellow gold, one and a half millimeter, and then a two millimeter rose gold Franco, two millimeter rose gold rope. We have a four millimeter Mariner chain, six and a half millimeter puff link, five millimeter Miami Cuban link bracelet, three millimeter flat, three millimeter flat, a nice four and a half millimeter flat curb. If you're just looking for a nice safe bet chain, go with the flat curbs. They are beautiful chains, finish on them, it's lovely. One and a half millimeter rope, four millimeter rope. We have a Jacoji Jesus piece on a two and a half millimeter rope chain, best Jesus piece. Why? Because the logo on the back matches the sticker. Just kidding, it matches the hat we have a two millimeter mariner a four millimeter flat curve bracelet another two millimeter mariner the mariner chain is getting really popular uh, just for people kind of looking for gifts shop for christmas or want a nice starter chain here is the two millimeter uh mariner the flat mariner and then i'll size it up with the one and a half millimeter rope because i think these are kind of in the same category so you guys could kind of see a sizing comparison again the rope because how thick they are, they definitely stand out, but the two millimeter Mariner, as you guys see, very nice looking chains right there. Those are basic, and also you could add pendants on, buy the chain now, add the pendant later, and then we are cooking on a box chain review after this. So here is the shipment. Thank you guys, as always, for all the support. Now this is a great video topic. A lot of us know how to buy our gold jewelry. We like the quality, the pricing, and all that good stuff. It's fairly easy to do once you're comfortable with it, but reselling is another question and I get questions all the time about it because you could go very easily to a pawn shop and they'll have the $100 bill stacked to the ceiling for you, but you have to take that price cut. You're not gonna be very happy with the price they give you because when they're going to buy, they're buying and anticipating if they're just gonna sell, resell that gold, the scrap gold. So if gold is at $23 that day, they might give you $21 a gram, and then that's how they make their profit off that. So if you really want the best bang for your buck, it's not to go to a pawn shop or a jewelry store because the jewelry stores will approach it pretty much the same way unless they feel like they could resell it for a lot higher. Some are honest and most of them are dishonest and will just still approach it like that and just undercut you a little bit, but they have to make money and they do have the bills. It's just, that's how it is. When you're running a business, the profit loss. So some are higher, some are lower. Some do more quantity than others. And that's why you have to shop around. If you're selling your gold, please do me a favor and everyone else a favor. At least go to three different places and see what the price per gram is when you resell those pieces. You'll be glad you did because you could have stores compete for each other. You could say, you know, this jewelry store down the street said they'll give me $21.50 a gram. Can you give me $22 a gram? And it'll work wonders for you. So that is one thing about the stores. They have more expenses. The good thing about eBay and what I always recommend to people because people want to sell me their chains and I just don't want to get involved with that honestly is put it on eBay and it's a little it's a little weary of buying or selling stuff on eBay especially gold jewelry but for the most part it's a good resource because you are selling to a fellow consumer. Now people go on there just as they do go to pawn shops looking for gold pieces to get a good price for pretty much used jewelry and that's why eBay works because if you're selling let's say this bracelet you just you want a bigger one or you want a smaller one or you just want to get rid of your bracelet in general you could go to the pawn shop they'll offer you X amount it'll be lower because they have to make money on that gold but on eBay you could list it take some good pictures if you have a scale put it take a picture 
picture with it on the scale. Be as detail oriented because buyers are always uh, a little cautious on eBay because they think they're getting scammed. Take a good picture of the class of 14 karat, all that stuff because you will actually make a little bit more than you would with the pawn shop or any other store because you're selling it to a fellow consumer that wants to buy it for relatively cheap. So you can mark yours up two, three, five dollars more per gram of the market price as opposed to taking that two, three dollars per gram loss selling it to a jewelry store or a pawn shop. Now I don't have a lot of experience of selling gold jewelry on eBay, but if it was me, this is what I'd recommend. I would recommend you take your gold pieces of jewelry, go to your local mall. They all have those watch repair places or the jewelry repair places, those basic places where there's a guy on the bench just fixing pieces. Have them polish up and clean that gold piece. Get it looking like new, maybe five, $10 max depending on the piece and the intricacy of it but it's worth it and then if you don't have a scale at home borrow their scale have them put the piece of gold jewelry on there and take a picture of it so you could list it better on ebay so you have a pretty much brand new piece with polish it'll show in the pictures a lot better and then also the gram weight and all that the details that will make someone feel a lot more comfortable and you can mark up your pieces a little bit more because you're not just hawking it off a quick sell. It's actually well thought out. I think at least five good pictures of the gold item would really help you make a little bit more money, honestly. So that's pretty much it. Your bet, your safe bet, your best bet would be just going the extra mile and trying to sell it on eBay as opposed to just running down and letting the pawn shop give you whatever they feel like that day. And it all varies. Again, three places for the best price. That's it for today's video and we will see you on our next jewelry video.